Good morning, Grade Five. Welcome back to your English class. Today, once again, we will be continuing with the lesson Malala Yousafzai standing up for education. In today's class, I will be teaching you how to make a timeline. Okay, using the events in Malala's life. So, without much delay, let's get started. Now, if I ask you, what is this? What is this picture? I'm sure you all will tell me it's a school timetable, right? Everyone, okay, has a timetable. This one is related to school, and I'm sure even you have it in your diary, right? We write the timetable in our uh, books so that we know. Which book we should bring to school, right? And if you were in school right now, you would see this timetable would be pasted on the wall of your classroom. Okay, so why have I shown you this timetable today? Now this timetable helps me to organize, right? It tells me, okay, it gives me information about what subjects we have and at what time. Right, so I know I have okay English on Mondays, so I will be ready from nine to ten thirty for English. Okay, so it gives us information about what subjects we have and at what time. It summarizes what we need to study in a week. Okay, so you know that okay, in the whole week I need to study all these subjects, or maybe on Mondays I need to study these uh, four subjects. Okay. And it also helps you to pack your bag correctly. Instead of keeping all the books in your bag and having a very heavy bag, you can pack your bag bag every morning, and you would bring only those books which you need to school, right? So just like how a timetable helps us, a timeline also helps us. So let's take a look at what is a timeline okay so a timeline is a table listing important events okay for successive years within a particular historical historical period okay so a timeline is just a line okay which has dates on the line and it tells you like it will tell you why that period is important or why that date is important okay you will find timelines in your history textbooks and in biographies okay so i'm sure you have seen a timeline even in your ss textbook okay they tell us what happened during a certain period okay of a particular person starting with the earliest event and moving forward so they will start with the day you were born and they will move forward okay you can have your Uh, own personal timeline, and you can begin with your birth. Okay, so over here I have a very simple time uh, timeline of Malala. Okay, where uh, we do not have the date, but we just have the year, and you can see like in nineteen ninety seven Malala is born, two thousand eight. Okay, she makes a speech at Peshawar Press Club about educational rights. In two thousand nine, she starts blogging. Okay, that means she starts writing the internet diaries for the BBC. In two thousand eleven, she is given the National Youth Prize. In two thousand twelve, she is shot by a Taliban gunman. Okay, and she flies to the UK for treatment. In two thousand thirteen, she is discharged discharged from Queen Elizabeth Hospital, and she is also nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. So this is a very simple timeline, summarizing. Malala's life. Okay, so you can also make a timeline of your life using uh, dates that are important to you. You can start with the date uh, of your uh, the date when you were born, and you can go up till recent times. Okay, so today we will be writing about. Uh, Malala. Okay, we will be using events from her life. Now I have given you some dates. Okay, and I will do just one for you, and you will have to do the rest reading the textbook. Okay, so when you read the textbook, you will come across these dates, and you need to fill in the timeline in your workbook. Okay, so the first one is twelve July nineteen ninety seven. Now we already know. Okay, that Malala was born on. Twelfth July, nineteen ninety seven. So, what are you going to do? You're just going to write, okay? Malala was born. You can just write that. I'm going to write it here. Malala was born, okay? So, this is the way you will be entering for the whole 
uh, entire page okay for all these dates this is just one example i have shown you this is the workbook okay so you need to read the text very clearly and find out what happened on these particular dates or these particular years and you need to write it okay now in 2008 what happened in 2008 she went uh, to peshwar and she spoke uh, why girls should go to school right so uh, she spoke to a group of reporters in peshwar why girl should go to school so you need to write it down okay so i am not going to tell you the answers i want you to do this okay now another topic you had in your workbook today was the prepositions in an on right you had the prepositions in and on so i will not go into much detail because this is a very common topic so we all know okay that a preposition is a word okay it's a very small word that shows direction right it shows direction okay so he sat on the chair where did he sit on the chair so on is your preposition there is some milk in the fridge okay so in is your preposition she was hind hiding under the table under is your preposition the cat jumped off the counter off is your preposition he drove over the bridge over is your preposition right there are many other prepositions like in front of you can say the cat is sitting in front of the box above the bird is flying above the house the boy is standing behind the chair the boy is under the bed right so these are prepositions remember they show position okay they show direction or this show position where the object is now today we are not going to be doing these we are just going to do in and on okay we are just going to do these two prepositions okay in and on so when would you use in you would use the proper preposition in okay when you have seasons of the year okay when you have years and centuries when you're talking about months when you're talking about parts of the day okay you would use the preposition on okay days of the week and dates for example okay i like to study in the morning okay an example of the preposition in they went swimming okay in winter or you can also say in the evening i like to relax okay over here you have the preposition on okay i will see you on monday you can write okay or i will see you on christmas day na i will see you on my birthday right so today we will be doing the preposition in and on and you have a uh, fill in the blanks in your workbook which you need to do okay you also have uh, an exercise in your content book okay where you will fill in the correct preposition of time okay that is in and on preposition in and on okay they are prepositions of time so you will you will need to fill it up even in your content book okay so that's all for today in case you have any doubts or uh, you want to call me please feel free to do so have a fantastic day okay and bye bye